MCH is an abbreviation standing for mean corpuscular hemoglobin. The MCH is a calculation showing the average amount of hemoglobin in one red blood cell. A complete blood count test is very crucial in helping us observe the MCH levels in blood. It is a measure of the oxygen-carrying hemoglobin in a red blood cell. MCH is one of the three red blood cells indices and its measurements are done by use of a machine and it is very vital in helping with diagnosis of medical problems. It is calculated by multiplying the total amount of hemoglobin present by 10 and then dividing it by the number of red blood cells present. The normal MCH levels range from 26 to 33 picograms of hemoglobin per red blood cell. It also should be noted that the ranges are basically determined by the machines you use in the lab and thus will differ according to the machine that was used during the blood test. Most lab reports have an indication for the normal range, so be sure to make use of that provision to deduce whether one's MCH is normal. Generally, if one's MCH falls above 34, it is considered to be high. One of the main reasons an individual's MCH levels could be this high is due to macrocytic anemia. This is mainly caused by deficiency in vitamin B12 or in other terms, folic acid. This vitamin contains carbon in large amounts and is required by the body in very minimal amounts in order to facilitate the performance of vital chemical processes and for the body to function at its optimum best. It is mainly distinguished with individuals' red blood cells being larger than their normal volume. Larger red cells are often associated with inadequate numbers of cells and also inadequate hemoglobin content per red blood cell which in the end results to a total blood hemoglobin concentration that is far from normal. Common causes of macrocytic anemia are DNA replication disorders. This is where the cells are generally larger because they don't possess the ability to produce DNA quickly enough to divide at the right time as they grow and therefore grow to be too large. Causes of this problem range from lack of certain essential vitamins like B12 to poisons or inhibitors of DNA replication. Other causes of macrocytic anemia include excessive intake of alcohol reticulocytosis and red cell membrane disorders. Symptoms of macrocytic anemia include fatigue, heart palpitations, and pallor. Normally, if one's MCH levels is below 26, it is considered to be very low. This can be attributed to blood loss over time, too little iron in the body, or microcytic anemia. Taking a look at microcytic anemia, it is mainly characterized by small red blood cells. Just like in macrocytic anemia, in microcytic anemia, the red blood cells are usually hypochromic meaning they appear paler than usual. Typical causative agents of microcytic anemia include iron deficiency anemia, thalassemia, anemia of chronic disease, lead poisoning and others. All these can be caused by insufficient iron present in one's diet blood loss, and malabsorption or inability to absorb nutrients into the body. These can all result in smaller red blood cells that have less hemoglobin in them. The most prominent or known form of microcytic anemia is iron deficiency. A diagnosis of iron deficiency needs keen consideration and evaluation for an underlying cause. Laboratory tests help in differentiating the cause of microcytosis and they include the red blood cell distribution with using CBC, serum iron levels, serum ferritin levels, total iron binding capacity, transferrin saturation, hemoglobin electrophoresis and peripheral blood smears together with reticulocyte blood count. Iron deficiency generally occurs when the absorption of iron does not match up to the standards of the bodily intake. This disparity occurs due to increased needs or insufficient dietary intake. People mostly affected by this are children, pregnant women, and women of childbearing age. It is very crucial for one to be ready to take action as abnormal MCH levels can be alarming. Though it may not necessarily mean one is adversely sick, as seen above, there are many underlying factors that can be quite detrimental. It is therefore important to rule out any possibility of a serious ailment or get it detected early to ensure full recovery. A qualified medical expert should be able to conduct these tests for you, and ensure you have all the knowledge you need on issues, to do with your health status. The doctor should also be able to determine any abnormal element. If you have found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to the channel, Health Destination.